Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got a very special kind of a ROM. Um, I say this is special because it's somewhere between a ROM and a Magisk module. So um, yeah, it's kind of confusing but I do have to say this does include a lot of features and uh, well compared to Oxygen OS, that's what it is. It's called the Renovate Ice ROM based on the latest version of Oxygen OS for the OnePlus 6T and OnePlus 6. Stay tuned for that. So guys, the Renovate Ice ROM. It's a very special kind of a ROM. It's not something you see very often. Well, for the OnePlus 6T at least, there hasn't been a lot of ROMs out there yet. And uh, this is one of the first ROMs which is based on Oxygen OS. I was actually waiting for a ROM based on Oxygen OS so that I can move away from the official version and just use this one for uh, flashing again and again. But this one is a little bit different. Let's just start with what is different here. This is actually the official version of oxygen os but you have to flash a magisk module for the renovate ice frameworks and the application and that will give you a little bit more features and it will give you an application called rice with which you can tweak these settings so let's just get that out of the way it's basically the same as the oxygen os roms which is available with your device if you have if you are coming from an oxygen os device you can even just flash the magis module and try it out but do keep in mind that having a clean flash is always recommended without further ado let's just start it with it in the about phone page and all that it's going to be the same thing as you can see it just say it does say renovate ice op6 or 60 10.2 is the latest version um, it is for oneplus 60 and version is 9 of course but you are using 9.0.11 that is the latest version of oxygen S, which you need to keep in mind kernel version is the same as the official version so that is basically it in the settings menu there aren't much options available all the options are available from the rise application and i will get to that in a while before everything there's nothing broken everything which is supposed to work with the official version of oxygen os is working i have been having that no issues one thing which you do which is really improved is ambient display you can get ambient display when to show always on you do have an option for always on display and you can also select from what time to what time it needs to be displayed and uh, that does work really well as you can see ambient display is on and this will not swipe off uh, you do want to i do want to mention that if you cover this also the time is still on but the fingerprint scanner is off keep that in mind um it might cause some issue with burning i have not had this device for long enough to see issues with burning but just keep that in mind that this is a thing uh, the developers has already mentioned that and are working on a few improvements to this so with that out of the way let's just get to the application and the stuff which is going to be working so almost all the applications or almost all the extra features are inside this application which is called rise tweaks and in the rise tweaks you do have the front page the front page uh, shows you the general information all of that is available rise tweaks version is there etc can be enabled you also have an option for licensing you can have um, a monthly subscription which is 0.99 dollars a month uh, which is very cheap and it will unlock all the extra features which are available which i will get to there's also one time purchase of all three um, these three options which is also pretty good to have if you don't want a monthly subscription you can actually use it I have not uh, gotten the monthly subscription I do plan on getting one most of the features are on by default there are a few features which require subscription which I'll get into now when swiping from the left you will get all the extra stuff in the system UI options you do have enable or rotation which is the thing currently on Pi it's not working but the developers are working on it you do have immersive mode you can enable immersive mode globally so everything just goes off that is pretty awesome so if you are someone who uses immersive mode like my brother he wants to have immersive mode on at all times so 
this is one way of doing that which is pretty cool also per app uh, immersive mode can be enabled but you do need a premium version or the license for that quick setting animations can be enabled so as you can see if i well yeah that is the animations there are all, all these animations available blink is available which is pretty cool i like that and uh, you can also disable the animation the animation duration and the animation interpolator can also be customized which is pretty cool apart from that compact quick, quick tile settings can be customized so as you can see i have set seven and i have set five here and you can customize that row and column count can be customized and you can have seven seven which is one of my favorite one which does work really well quick pull down is available smart pull down is available which is not in you know as feature i like that qx vibrations are available which is again something extra clock position can be enabled if you want right clock well there you have it you can enable that also he hidden clock is available if you don't want that and if you are using battery bar you, your battery uh, icon you can actually have it on the left side when the clock is on the uh, right you can pretty much do a lot of things with it i really like this one it is a really good option to have display seconds can be enabled double tap to sleep on the status bar status bar peak can be disabled which is also pretty cool i have disabled that if you enable that you can actually have the peak enabled and these are really really cool features expanded notification for uh, notifications are available height keyboard selection notification allow navbar height to be edited if you are someone who uses navbar you can do that and the height can be customized which is pretty cool if you want a very narrow navbar you can do that now in the application options you do have secure screenshot again not working as of now but the developers are working on it there are a lot of application which does not allow you to take screenshots if you are someone who lives in india the uts application which is a ticket list system for local trains that doesn't allow you to take screenshots but with this one you will be able to when it works so that's one thing lost screen quick setting pull down can be enabled or disabled from here randomized pin keyboard again if you are someone who uses pin you can actually enable that so as you can see everything is randomized which is pretty cool hide lost screen clock and date if you want that on the status bar you can do that hide lost screen status bar again pretty awesome disable power menu disable lost screen album art uh, disable lost screen shortcuts all is these options are available and you can have a very very clean lock screen as you can see nothing here nothing there no, neither on the top neither on the bottom pretty cool to have enable notification icons on the ambient display which even if notifications on lock screen are disabled which is really cool to have now in the high brightness mode it does have a high brightness mode and it also allows you to have a tile here on the uh, on the tile screen for high brightness as you can see if you click that high brightness mode is enabled which is a really really good feature if you are on outdoors a lot of things uh, it also has a hpm auto mode with your proximity sensor but you do need a license for that personally i just enabled it from the uh, status bar but it is a nice thing to have a auto high brightness mode available option in the miscellaneous option you can enable call recording if your device does not support call recording out of the out of the box uh, my device is indian and it does support call recording so that is pretty cool to have higher adaptive brightness is available uh, toggle the power button for torch is available but i have seen this doesn't have the auto turn off after two or five minutes does cause an issue for me i did have some turn on overnight and uh, drain my battery fully so keep in mind that a battery system uh, system animation can also be customized from here which is sort of a good thing to have but um, i mean not a must you can actually do that from your developer options also so, but one thing is that it does have 0.75 value which is not available with uh, other devices so the uh, custom application remaps are available you can set it to any application but this one is only available for the monthly subscription or you have uh, bought all three subscription that is the 200 uh, 500 and the 1200 all the subscription if you have bought it that is available for you it's your choice if you want to do it if not just move on there are applications which you can use like button remapper um, that is also available which is which does have other stuff it also has a fingerprint sensor remap probably for one plus six and not the 60. now in the status bar option you do have color options so revert stock colors are available so you can customize that also status bar icon color can be customized and dark light status bar options are available you can have accent colors on it really really cool stuff you can customize all of these things but also again for this one you need uh, the monthly subscription or three donation keys which is again another thing which you might have to consider in the license option you can do have options for all of these options which is pretty cool settings uh, in that you have app updates it will update on uh, all this stuff also rom updates can be enabled so that's pretty cool to have and in the system ui you can see what all options are available with your device so nothing special here but it's pretty cool to have
So there you have it guys, that is the rice options or rice tweaks available for this device. Again, considering it is on top of Oxygen OS, which is one of the most stable, one of the most feature um, working, I guess, fingerprint scanner is not working on any custom ROM as of now. So, well, if you want to use that, you have to be on Oxygen OS. But if you want a little bit more features on it, you can actually use this and get it through. It's really, really cool. It's really nice. And the free version has a lot of features, which is good for people who was more like me coming from a custom rom with a lot more features so it actually works really well i like this one just a, the only problem i have with this free version is that advertisements are really invasive it gives you the full screen uh video advertisement which is a thing i understand that but doesn't mean that it's not invasive and it's not annoying but it is what it is you can just use a monthly subscription or a one-time purchase to get that working so that's not much of an issue so yeah i'm not going to talk about the battle life or the performance or anything of that sort because it's the exact same as the uh, version available elsewhere is the official version of uh, oxygen os stability is great aesthetics are the same as what you have come from and um, nothing special going on it's just the same thing the only things as are that it does have a few extra features even the boot animation is the same as of official oxygen os so not going to waste my time on that so yeah that is pretty much it what do I think about the ROM? Uh, as a conclusion, it's a great add-on for your Oxygen OS ROM. It does give you a lot more options. I really like cleanification of the lock screen options which is available. Smart pull down is something which I really like uh, and it does work as you can see. If I do that, it does give you the full uh, quick setting panel when uh, smart pull down is available and no notifications are available. I like that. It is really, really awesome. I just like the overall package available and this just a magic module which you need to flash. Now the way to install this ROM, I'm just going to give you guys a short tip. Install the ROM, uh, the official version of Oxygen OS, which I have al already covered in another video. Uh, do check that out. Install the ROM, set it up, make sure the Magisk module or Magisk manager is installed and Magisk is detected. If not, just restart again. So after that, reboot into recovery. Flash the Magisk module, which is about 350 megs. I'm not really sure, but flash that and then restart back into the ROM you will find the magisk uh, module which is the rice tweaks option it should work really well so that's basically how you need to do this pretty cool right i guess how much is it about the ROM then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye